Hello, guys. Welcome back to Coffee Powered Home. Uh, I am Liz. And so today I'm going to be trying once again to share footage with you of a project that I did yesterday. But me right now, I am live. And so I can reply to all of the friends in the comments. So let me quickly say hello. Hey, Stacy, thank you for being here today. Hey, Ashley, Sierra. Hi, Lorraine. What's going on? What's going on? Hi, Teacher Victoria. Barb's in the chat. Naomi's in the chat. We got Miss Nancy Blank from the Cajun Peach Kids. What up, bestie? Yo, Enya is right here. I am right here. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. There I am. Hey, Candice. Hello, hello, Elsbieta. I don't know. How, I'm so sorry. Lurker. Yes, Lurker's in the house. What up, Raven? Roseanne is here. Your Royal Highness is in the house. If y'all see, I'm always going to call Leanne um, your Royal Highness because she couldn't make up her mind if she want me to call her Laura Lee or she want me to call her Leanne. So I'm like, I'm just going to call you your Royal Highness and call it a day. Sunday is in the house on a Tuesday. She's probably tired of hearing the days of the week jokes, but that's too bad. That's too bad. You're going to have to deal with it. What up, Jolie? All right, friends, so today I'm going to share a video. Now, last time I had time-lapsed the video really fast, so it was over in like nine minutes, and nobody had a chance to jump on the live and hang out. So this time, uh, it's only very slightly sped up. It's like, it'll still be about 30 minutes long or so. Um, so that will give people a chance to jump on and take a look at this project. Let me get the project. Ooh, it's tangled. Come on. All right, so today we're making a messenger bag. Um, well, yesterday I made it. So the purpose of this, if you missed the last live, is I'm going to show you footage of a project that I already did. So y'all can't distract me. But now I am here and I can react to y'all's uh, messages. So let me go ahead and throw up the footage. Um, so let me go ahead and put that onto the stream now. All right, let me know if y'all can see. If you can't see... I will, uh, I will change it. Hold on. Wait, we got to start this over. Remove. Let me try it again. It didn't start from the beginning. Start over. There we go. Okay, cool. So if you see, um, what's cool is I can pause the video and make comments about it, which is kind of nice. Yes. Okay. Because what I can do, guys, if that's not big enough, eh, I can do that so y'all can see what I'm doing better. And if I have something to say, then I can be like, bam, I'm in your face. Um, so real quick, so I did not technically use a pattern. I made my own, ugh, um, but I followed the directions from a different video that I found online. So in the description of this video, there is a link to the tutorial, the video tutorial on YouTube that I followed because this is so easy. It's really, really easy. Um, so the video had a different kind of bag. It was a little bit smaller. It has like a scalloped uh, flap over it. But I wanted mine to be just a little bit bigger. And even, you know, it's still small. But the one in the video was, I think, a little bit smaller. More like for, like, a baby toddler kind of person. And I wanted this to be big enough to fit on my, like, five, six-year-old daughter. So I uh, just made it in uh, Microsoft Word using the basic shape tools. And I just kind of made my own situation. Um, so that's what y'all seeing on the screen right now. So I will, oh, nails still looking good. Thank you, Roseanne. They hanging in there. They doing good. My thumb's a little a little um, janky now, but that's because it's a utility nail. I use my nails so much working with my hands, but they, they, they hanging on from dear life. Hey, thank you for being here. Hi, guys. Hey, Maria. All right, let's continue. I'm going to hit play. Let me pop out of the way. All right. So basically, I use that stripe fabric for the main body of the bag. So I just printed that thing out twice and I cut one of them to the body, full body part and the other one to just be the flap. So I needed, um, this bag has a liner to it. So what I did was I did two pieces of that striped fabric for the outside of the body of the bag. And then I did two of that same size of a bright pink fabric to do the inside because I wanted to line it with that bright pink situation that I used for the flap. So I had to cut all them pieces out. Peep them nails. Thank you, Sandy, for hooking me up with the Color Street nails. All right. So you see, this time I time lasted. 
I time lapsed it just a little bit because I'm really, really slow. And if I didn't, this would be like an hour long video, um, but it should just be about 30 minutes or so. Hi guys in the chat. Hey, Annabelle, thank you for joining us this morning. It's not morning anymore, is it? For me, it's two o'clock in the afternoon here in Illinois. Um, but thank you for being here today. Me, look at me using my fancy paperweight. Got that uh, glass going on. It reminds me to sip my coffee this morning. So I guess I can do this because right now I'm just cutting fabrics. Um, I'm just bringing y'all along for the ride. I don't know what to do next. I think that might be it for my Easter basket stuff. I'll probably do like a short or something where I show like the compilation of all the things I made for the Easter basket and put it all together and just like post it on the community page or something. Because I'm honestly, I'm over all the Easter basket stuffers at this point. I don't know about y'all. Like I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys make stuff for Easter. You guys make the bunnies, y'all do the shirts, y'all do the things. So are you guys done? Like, are you guys burnt out with the whole Easter situation? Because I'm ready to move on with life. So I think this might be my last contribution to the Easter situation. And I think I'm going to move on to prepping for my daughter's birthday. So ugh, I have to get all the stuff that I need to do. I want to try to do an applique birthday shirt for her. We'll see. We'll see. I got to get the right stuff, though. Because for a shirt, I ain't going to mess around with that with that wonky stabilizer I have. Mm -mm. I ain't going to do that. Yeah, Mother's Day is next, Naomi. Yeah, probably so. Probably so. Hey, I love your videos. You're so authentic. One of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, thank you so much. You are very kind. Um, I don't know. I get annoyed at myself, but apparently y'all haven't gotten annoyed of me yet. So... <laughs> We'll see how long that lasts. But thank you so much. Thank you all. Hey, Illinois in the house. What's up? What's up? Moved on to Mother's Day already. Yup, yup. Hey, Sandra. Thanks for being here today. You're going to stuff those eggs? Yes, y'all getting ready for the Easter egg hunts. They started doing that already in the area. All right, so it looks like I'm already in the video. Let's go back to the video. So I already cut out the panels, the four panels that I need for the outside of the bag and the liner. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the two pieces that I need for the flap of the um, the little messenger bag. I think if I made this again, like I need to make another one exactly the same for my other daughter. But in the future, if I was going to make this like to add to a shop or to list or even to gift to anybody, I'd still make it a little bit bigger because the end result still could have been, I'd say I would have made it a little bit bigger. Yeah. But it's all right. It's a nice little gift. They can throw a little stuffy in there. They could throw a little notebook, a little notepad with a pen if they're going somewhere and want to be distractified. All right. So we've got all the pieces cut. And in the video tutorial, they just start going to town and sewing it all up, right? Um, but here's the situation. Oh, I forgot. I'm cutting the strap for that too. I could not just sew it all up. I had to be a little bit extra. So you will see me at some point embroidering my daughter's name onto the, the little flappy piece, um, the little floppy bits there. <clears throat> eh. Sunday, I cheated on Easter by shopping at Target. Yes. I mean, girl, you do what you want to do. Uh, thank you guys. You guys are very, very kind. Thank you very much. But yeah, so basically I did for the strap just a three inch wide strip, kind of like what we did for the lanyard. If you missed the lanyard video after the fact, I will post a link up somewhere. Um, yeah, but we just did a three inch wide strip. And I think I did 30 inches long for this. But again, you would adjust it depending on what age you're making this bag for. Because in the video tutorial, theirs was very short, but I wanted this to be able to go over, you know, be an over the shoulder bag for a six-year-old so i made it about 30 inches long and i think that that works ah distractify <laughs> i threw that in there just for you boo just for you all right alicia yes see y'all can't distractify me this is liberating for me because the work is being done by my past self over there and i get to hang out with a coffee and talk to y'all hey 
Roseanne, you saw, I saw your Looney Tunes lanyard. I love it. I'm all about the bright colors and the 90s. I love it. All right, so there looks like I've cut out my strip. And so I went ahead and I did crease it just the same way as we did with the lanyard in the video. But this time I did it the right way as you're supposed to. I creased it in the center and then creased the two edges into the middle and then folded them over so that all the raw edges are tucked inside. And then I just sewed along. So I'm kind of showing you how I'm going to end up folding it there. Uh, I used the heat press to press it this time so it would be a little bit faster. But again, like I said, I couldn't just sew it together. It looks cute, right? I like those colors. I like the stripes. It's a navy and white stripe and then the bright pink. So I was like, I could just sew it together or I could have even thrown an HTV, um, an HTV name on the top, but I'm like, let me be extra and embroider. So I threw together my janky um, stabilizer situation and I should have done two because I did get some pulling, but that's okay. Again, this is for my kids, so I didn't really care, but I went ahead and did, as always, I'm struggling I am struggling. Yeah, please don't stop the work with me lives. <laughs> I mean, I will do lives sometimes, but this is easier. Um, if I'm trying to put out more content, it's faster for me to do this than to edit a whole video. Um, yes. Joanne, you have improved with confidence for sewing and doing great projects. Thank you so much, Joanne. I think practice is very helpful. I need to do more of it. Um, yeah, I need to do more. Pia, I don't remember if I said hi already, but just in case, hello. So there I am trying to hoop the little embroidery situation, being all extra about it, and then trying to remember what I was supposed to do. So yeah, how are y'all doing today while I try to figure out that embroidery situation? Y'all having a good time today? Oh, coffee is amazing. I love it. So, yeah. Um, since I'm going to be done with Easter stuff, I'm going to do the applique shirt for my daughter. I have a big order that's coming soon. I have to determine if I'm going to do it. It's going to be like 34 shirts that I need to knock out in one day. I don't know. I feel like if I do it live, I'm not going to get enough done. So it might be a work with me video. Um, but let me know if you guys think I should do it live, that would be, that would be a substantial live to try and get a 34 shirt order done on a live. That's, that would be a challenge because again, y'all are amazing, but also a distractification. Hello, Rosetta. Thank you for being here. Hey, Miss Josephine, the best uni in the house. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Working on putting a name on a baby blanket. Yes. Do it. Lots of cleaning. Nice. Get ready. Get ready. Ah, oh, yes. The live combo is interesting, right? Because at least I can uh, I can, uh, get that done while hanging out. Ma'am, this coffee is mine. Get your own. Get your own. Lisa, the DTF order. Yes, Lisa. Yes, exactly. I have that DTF order to get done at some point soon. So I don't know if that will be alive or not. We'll see. Work with me from a productivity stand. I'm no, I'm saying, I don't know. I don't know. It, it could start as a live and then I'll be like, you know what? This is not working. I'll talk to y'all when it's done. Uh, live, please. You got this. I don't know. I don't know, guys. See, I think she gets more done when we aren't chatting with her and she does voiceovers. It's like she's twins, right? See, this is the bad. I'm saying the productive me gets to be over there doing the productive things, and I get to hang out and be free. Yes. Freedom. That's my freedom dance. All right. Let me see. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Big storms. Watch out. Watch out. Did Liz say she's doing a 12 hour life? No, I ain't trying to do that right now. Hey, Kachi, thank you for being here. We're just doing a recap. This is some work um, that I did yesterday to make this bag for my daughter. It's a little messenger bag. But I mean, I liked it because it's lined, so it looks legit. There's no interfacing or anything like that, so it's kind of like loose. 
but it's cute for like if they want to throw a notebook in there throw some crayons in there throw a little stuffy when they're headed out the door you know it's cute it's cute it won't take you that long to do a dtf order have you met me lisa have you met me yeah i have to ignore you most of the time but this is so cool because i can listen to the uh i can look at the chat just ignore us because that's possible that's worked in the past but coffee does grab hands get your hands away hey fellow illinoisan hey joanna do it like this because you will be most productive but y'all are gonna uh, yeah i guess we could we'll see we love live we just yep it's because you guys are cool and i feel weird not not talking to to the cool people <laughs> it takes time to sit here too just more fun yeah it's more fun for me but i understand it sometimes here's the thing when i do work live sometimes y'all can be participating and motivating me and reminding me what I was going to do next because I forget sometimes. I forget. Hey, Marquia, thank you for being here. It's cute. Thank you. Thank you. So here we're, hold on, let me show y'all. Can you see all that puckering though on the side? Like, yeah, yeah. Because again, wrong stabilizer, not enough stabilizer, blah, 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 blah. I understand. I understand the assignment. I just didn't do it actually still have to order the right stabilizer everybody been linking it for me thank you i appreciate y'all so much there we are taking it off right i like that it's a little it's a perfect little snack bag on the go if we're gonna walk to the park we're gonna go somewhere throw your goldfish in a bag uh throw a little juice pouchy in there and let's go let's go hey what up alicia what up pauline thank you for being here juana thank you thank you for being here today I appreciate you guys so much. So where'd I go? Where'd I go in the video? I don't even know. I think I dropped the phone at one point too, and I forgot to cut that out, but whatever. Anyways, there's the result of the embroidered piece that I showed you. Again, it's not perfect, okay? I know because there's pulling and stuff. But um, yeah, but here we go. So the first part is to do the body of the bag, the outer body. Turn the two pieces, pretty sides together. And only sew along the outer, like the U part of it, but not across the top. And again, if you want better instructions, the link for the tutorial that I followed is in the description of this video in case you want to try it yourself with a fabric of your choice. So, yes. And then, okay, hold on. Hold the phone. So for the inside, um, for the liner part, I'm supposed to do the same, but if you saw, I made two marks on the bottom. So at the bottom center of the liner, those pink pieces, I made a lot, um, two dashes, maybe about two and a half inches apart because you're supposed to leave that open so that at the end you can flip it all inside out. So don't do a U across the liner. You're only um, supposed to sew. Um, you're supposed to leave a gap in the liner piece. But I'm like, oh, let's fix the bobbin. Good times. So, yeah, I paused the video because I had to re refill my bobbin. Because it was empty. Liz, you could add a snap or Velcro for closure. Yes, and I thought about that, Joanne. Thank you. I will be adding that. Um, I could either do a cam snap, but so that she can do it on her own, I might just do a Velcro dot because I have some of those on hand anyway. So here we are sewing the outside, trying to watch out for them corners. But honestly, sewing is like my favorite right now. I, I love to sew. I don't sell anything that's sewed yet, but like just for my own relaxation of all the crafts that I've tried, sewing is my favorite thing in the world right now. Like when I don't want to do anything, I'd rather sew. I don't care what it is. I don't care if I'm grabbing a piece of scrap fabric. And just going at it in a straight line like let's go um yes so there's that part hey vanessa i almost missed this live right the last one was really short this one should be about 30 minutes long oh we already at like the 20 minute mark we about halfway ish there's 42 of us here today thank you so much guys for tuning in with me if you're a lurker shout out my fellow lurkers my lurkies are y'all my lurkies? Is that going to be your thing? 
Are y'all the coffee powered lurkers? Do I need to make a new merch shirt? <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Back it up. Back. Hold the phone. Where is that? I'm trying to find that part in the thing. You see? Let me hold it up real quick. Boom. Okay. So you see those little notches? I made those marks on there just so I remember not to close that, not to sew it closed. All right. So if you're doing this, make sure you don't sew the liner because that spot is important to pull the whole thing inside out at the end. So you would start at the top corners of the U and sew in just to the mark, but leave that gap open if you do that. Back to the video. <laughs> Pia, have you tried your surge or not yet? That needs to be another video too. I need to do that because it's going to be a game changer. I already know it's going to be thebomb.com once I can start surgifying things. With Sergio. Where is Sergio? Oh, Sergio's on a shelf behind me right now. Had to make some space. So there I am sewing. This is the liner pieces. Ah. Hey, merch. Connie. What's up, Connie? I always add a tab on my pattern. The size that I want to leave open for two reasons. Hey, Lorraine, I'm a lurker all the way from the UK. Yes. Hello, hello. Thanks for shouting out. Sergio should not be on the shelf. I know. I'm so sorry. All right. So I think I'm done with that liner piece. Oh, it's getting hot in here. This is coffee. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so you see, we got that little area. So per the instructions, you're supposed to make little slits around the edges. So all of you guys that are really good at sewing already know this. But if you're going to turn something inside out and it has curves, you're supposed to make little notches or at least slits. So that when you turn it out, there's it's not super bulky or so it's flat. It's supposed to be a helpful thing for the flat corner areas. So that's what I'm doing right there. These are little things that I'm learning along the way to make wherever there's a curve. Do a little snippy snip, but don't cut the actual stitches. Don't do it because you're going to have a bad day. Yeah. Nobody puts Sergio on a shelf. I need to name my machines. I need to make a decal. I need to make a decal for Sergio and put it on the machine. <gasps> ah. <laughs> You're all right, Lisa. Thank you. Lisa's been working on making patches. That's so cool. All right, cool. So I did my little notches on the liner and on the main body of the bag. Pinking shears. I don't know what those are. Y'all going to have to edu educate me. So here we are. We're flipping out the outer body of the bag per the instructions from the tutorial. Name my machines. I mean, Naomi, it makes it a lot easier to yell at the machines if they have a name. So here we are. For the flap of the bag, I took the embroidered part and put them pretty sides together, right? Pretty sides together so that the nice part of the embroidered name is on the inside there because we're going to sew around it and then flip it outwards. So make sure you're doing it the right way. Roseanne, y'all's thinking the same thing. That's because y'all know a lot more than I do. Oh, okay, so they're Ziggy Zaggy Scissors. See, that's they should just call it that. That's actually really catchy. I would much rather buy a pair of Ziggy Zaggy Scissors than pinking shears. I'm going to get me some Ziggy Zaggy Scissors. So this part was a little iffier for me to sew just because I did get so much pulling on my little embroidered area or whatever, but it's all right. It's all right. Everything's okay. She'll be fine. Would it have looked cuter if I had done it right? Yeah, but it's okay. She's just going to see her name and she'll she'll have a good time. I'll try to do better when I do my other daughters. Do, 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 do. There we go, sewing. So for the flap, you also just sew around that U, but don't sew across the top. Not yet. Mm -mm. It ain't time for that. You don't want to close it up because we got to flip it out.
flip it and reverse it. And I was just about to flip this out too and already move on to the next step, but I forgot that this also has curves. So I needed to do the little ziggity zaggity, the ziggy zaggy scissor move, ziggy zaggy scissors along the corners of that piece too. You good, Lisa. She's messaging me on the side about a thing. It's all good. Yes, thank you. Yeah, they'll love it either way. So there we go. Now that I cut all the little notches and flipped it out, uh, I don't remember what the next step is, so I guess we'll watch and see. Oh, yes, yes. So we got to do the, the handle thing. So you see, I creased it down the center. Then I creased it into the center. And then we fold those two pieces in so all the raw edges are on the inside. And then I just got as close as I could to both sides to uh, seal that up, if you will. Yeah, I'm flipping out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, you can't send me something if on a live if I'm on a live because I will look at it because that is how distracted I am. I am that distractible. <laughs> All right, so that's me trying to trying to sew the thing. The video might get a little wobbly because uh, I don't have one of them stabilizing mats or nothing. Y'all just gonna dance all over the place. It's not an earthquake if the screen starts shaking. It's just my poor recording quality. <sighs> you always use your walking foot. I do, because why not? Why not? I love that walking foot. It makes my life so much easier, so I do it. Ah, look, ma, no pins. I mean, I did... I did press it, so it was very helpful to press. I didn't like pressing it with my little iron, so I, le I legit turned on the heat press, and I was like, boom, boom, press, in like five five seconds. Yes! You getting to be a pro. Hopefully one day. I ain't yet, but we getting there. Look at you go, girl. Now look at you. Look at you, fool. Yes, I decided to do this trap the way Nancy did. I did it the right, the way I'm supposed to. Um, I mean, but that's also how they show in the tutorial to do it. So, uh, yeah. So I'm flipping out and unstable, just like us. I mean, girl, I have never related to so many unstable and creative people in my life. Y'all are the best. Cheers. Cheers. Get it. Get it. Mm. Mm is the sewing machine is quaking. Mm, you gotta make it shake. Yeah, you'd use your heat press. It's faster, it covers more space. Florida has my back, yes she do, yes she do. Cheers, 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 hey. My people, okay, oh wait, her, bleh, pause. Uh, her, her, her. Okay, so once that's done, you're supposed to Lay down the strap on top of the outer portion that's already flipped inside out. Hi, Ollie. Okay, you're supposed to lay it down, all right, on there. Push play. There we go. And then put the liner, no, the flappity flap face down, the pretty side down on top of the strappy. And then you're supposed to pin it right where the straps are but not catch the front side of the body of the bag. So I'm showing you right there. You pin it where the strap is, the flap, the strap, and the back of the body of the bag. Say that six times fast. The flap, the strap, the back, but not the front of the body of the bag. The flap, the strap, the back, but not the front of the body of the bag. Uh, uh, get it, get it. Okay, and then you sew that. <laughs> without sewing the front of the body of the bag, okay? <laughs> so I think I accidentally skipped the, or I forgot to record the part where I actually sewed it, but that's what you get, that's what you get. Once you sew it, it's just like a, a simple basting stitch just to attach those pieces, but you gotta make sure you leave that spot open. <laughs> the coolest thug of all. Yes! So it's actually a navy. It's hard to tell on the camera, but it's a navy blue and white stripe. But I think that still looks cute. I love it. I love it. Okay. 
and go. Okay, so now what we're supposed to do is, um, I don't know. Oh, we're supposed to like tuck in the outer portion into the liner, but I'll show you. So you roll up the strap so it's out of the way, right? And then you fold that all in half and then you insert that whole thing into the inside out liner. So it goes on the inside and then you open it back up in there. All right, you do one of those situations. And then you pin it at the at the edge seams at the at the corners. So you line up your corners, and you I mean I use the clippies, the little wonder clips. Shout out to Anna who sent me the wonder clips back in the day when I first got my sewing machine. I do not forget. The North remembers. Okay, <laughs> shout out to my Game of Thrones fans out there. Okay, cool. So then uh, I put a few more clips in there to um, to make sure I didn't mess it up. So you kind of line everything up a little bitty bit. So the right sides of the fabric are facing each other. Yes, the right sides of the inside thing that we wrapped up and sandwiched in there. I mean, it really doesn't matter because the liner is double-sided. But yes, that that is in essence what you would do. Naomi, <laughs> Michelle, I didn't know this was a Dr. Seuss video. So I took that table off because it's easier for me to sew using the smaller arm portion of the sewing machine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So here I'm trying to give y'all a better vantage point, but I think at some point y'all fall. Maybe, maybe that part didn't make it in. I don't know. We'll see. So here I am just trying to go to town. Doing my little back stitchy move. And then trying not to sew my fingers. But getting awfully close. Eh, that's okay. There we go. All right, time for a coffee break while that happens. <sighs> Threw that one all the way back. Hey, Jolene. Ah, look at those awesome nails, right? Doesn't it make a difference? You see, I had to do it because YouTube couldn't be on there with my janky nails. Now they're on brand. I need to get, I need to like put a little uh, coffee powered home sticker on one of them nails. Get my brand up in there. So we just shuffle in that bag all the way around. See, I'm relaxed just watching sewing happen. Like, I love it. I can't. Y'all don't understand. Y'all do not understand. So I'm just snipping off all the excess pieces. I believe that walking foot for the machine is working for you. Girl, you don't even know. Like, I'm, okay, this is my favorite part. Okay, so then you just go in the hole. <laughs> you go in the hole and you just pull all that out. You pull it out like a magician. Pulling out them them things out their sleeve. The never-ending tissue situation. Boom. Pull the whole sucker out. Make sure you flip everything the way it's supposed to go. This is the rewarding part. The best part. You flip it out. Okay? I was so excited. And then you're supposed to go in and, of course, try to hand stitch. the. I never do the hand stitching. Just throw it back on the machine. It's the liner, for goodness sake. Don't nobody care. Don't nobody care. Look at her in the bucket. Yeah, hey, yep. You already know. I got my little trash bucket. Yes. Make sure you pull out. Yes, your old highness, pull all the way out. You better make sure your pull out game is on point so that, you know, so you have a nice flat uh, result. <laughs> Can't be getting bumpy now. No bumpy lumpies. We flat AF up and hurt. <laughs> All right, so there I am just trying to stitch it closed as close as I can to the edge without, again, sewing my fingers onto the bag. <laughs> y'all in the comments know what's up. I see y'all. I see y'all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there we are. Okay, so now it's done. So then you push the liner, push it in, <laughs> all the way in. Oh, man, all the keywords here today welcome. If you haven't met us, we a little crazy. 
And there we go. There it is. There is the the result of the thing. Look at that. And it's lined. Because, I mean, I could have just done the outer part, right? And left it raw on the inside. But doesn't it look a little bit more put together doing it with the liner? Look at me. Look at me. Ah. <laughs> Ah, which way am I pointing? This girl. Look at this girl. She crazy. Sup? Sup, Holmes? I'm gonna look. Where is it? This way? Hey. Oh, she gone. She gone. And that was the project. Oh my god. <laughs> AJ, you just came in. Oh, you're so confused. You are so confused. Woohoo! Hello, hello, hello. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, AJ, I legit just finished stuff. I just finished doing the thing. So I'm live, but I was showing footage of my work that I did yesterday, and we was just reacting to it together. So that way I don't have to edit a voiceover. I'm just doing the voiceover live. So um, let me know what y'all thought about doing it this way. Again, I wish that it worked out, but again, yesterday's video didn't perform too well. So this is my second try. This time I made it longer um, so we could hang out more. So what I like is the work is done, so I'm not distracted. And I get to just chill and hang out and chat with y'all while we watch it. So it's basically like a premiere, but I'm live instead of just in the chat. Um, so yeah, I might try it again. We'll see how it does. We'll see how it does. Please hit the like. Please let people know if they haven't seen it. Um, because this is fun. I will still do regular lives on occasion and still do edited videos, but it's nice to be able to throw something up and be chill and not have to worry about being productive at the same time. So thank y'all for being here. My nieces would love some of those. Again, um, I'm not, I yes, the link to the tutorial I followed is in the description of this video. So go ahead and check that out to follow. She explains it a lot clearly, a lot more clearly than I did. Um, but yes, so thank you guys for being here. No, no, Connie, you are talented because you have taught me so much. If you guys haven't checked out Connie's channel, Scandies, she has a ton of tutorials and sew alongs and things. So go check out her channel, everybody. All right. See y'all guys later. Yeah, I hope they love it. I got to make another one still for my daughter. Going to catch the replay. Thank you so much, Dumps. Thank you, Maria. Thank you all for being here today. I would love to learn to do it that way. I would not be scared to go live. It's a lot less pressure when the work's already done. So I'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.